Hi guys, it's Victoria, and today I'm going to tell you about the time that I almost died. Um, that might be a little bit dramatic, but I could have died. Also, I'm so sorry for slacking on the uploads. A couple weeks ago, I uploaded on Monday, and last week I forgot to upload. Well, I didn't forget to upload. I didn't have a video filmed, and I didn't want to, like, throw something and, like, upload something that sucked. Um, and this week it is 6.03 on Sunday, and I'm just not filming this, so I will get it up as soon as I possibly can. But, okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get into this. So, um, as I think most of you should know, Luke lives 40 minutes away from me. Luke is my boyfriend, in case you're new. Um, and so I was at his house one night over the summer, and the curfew like for 16 year olds is 10 on weekdays and 11 on weekends. So it was a weekend and I was coming home at 11 o'clock. Well, no, I left his house at 10.20 to get home at 11 o'clock. And as soon as I get out of town, um, I'm just you know driving and there's a car like way back behind me and then a car behind that car. And then that car turned onto this road. So then there's a car and there's a car way back behind me. And by the time, like after like 10 minutes, by the time I had gotten to a stop sign, um, that car that was way back behind me was like against my bumper. Like it was like on my butt. And their lights were so, 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 so bright. So I started going like 30 so I could get them to pass me. And they wouldn't pass me. And I don't know if this really has anything to like do with it, but they weren't using their turn signals when they would turn, like whenever I would turn. So... That kind of freaks me out too, but yeah. Um, so basically I'm going like 30, okay, on the highway and this car is not passing me. They're like riding up against me and I'm so, like at first I'm like, okay, well maybe they just live in this town cause like the stop sign's like right next to the town. Like you have to drive like maybe a mile to get there um, after you turn. And I was like, okay, maybe they just live in this town. Um, so like they're not too concerned about passing me because like it's only gonna be like a minute so i was like okay let's just say it's that so then i get into the town they don't turn i get to the stop sign and turn out of the town they turn behind me um so now i'm between the town and my town and there's just it's just a straight road and then a turn to get into my town and so i'm still going like 30 and at this point i call my mom and I'm like, okay, I might be late. Or I was like, I'm going to be late home because I'm driving 30 because there's a car like right up against me. Their lights are really bright. I'm trying to get them to pass me. And she's like, okay, okay. It's so like, I'm on the phone with her and they're still like right up against me. So there are, there's another way I could use to go home after I get through that town. I could go through another town and then like kind of in like a, like, you can go this way into town, or you can go this way into town. It's like a square, basically. And so I was like, okay, maybe they're going to my town, but like, I, like their lights are really bright. I'm like kind of freaked out at this point. So I turn, they turn behind me. I, at this point, start sobbing, like sobbing. And my mom's like, okay, um, I'm giving the phone to your dad. I'm gonna come meet you. And so I'm like sobbing on the phone with my dad. My mom comes out and um like so by the time i get through the town and i'm almost home my mom finally gets there and like swings in right behind them um but their lights like their license plate wasn't lit up so we couldn't see the license plate um and then we cross the railroad tracks like right into town there's a dirt road and this person turns onto the dirt road so of course my mom turned in right behind them and just sat there with her lights on, like looking at them. And then at this point she called the cops. Um, and I've never had to like have the cops called before. Like I haven't had to deal with anything like that. So it was really scary, um, but I did make it home safely, obviously. I wasn't gonna go home if they were still following me because I didn't want to lead them to my house. But yeah, 
since they didn't, and then eventually they just kind of like creeped along, so then the cops did not find them. They didn't find them. My dad, after I got home, decided to go drive around for a little bit. Never found them, so he's still out there somewhere, and I could die any time. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would share that experience with you guys, because it's scary, but it's something interesting that I could share with you guys. I don't know. Um, I'm sorry this video is so short, but yeah, um, I'm going to get this video up as soon as possible. Hopefully you'll be seeing it on Sunday still. It might be on Monday. I'm really, really sorry. I'm going to try to be better. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next. I will see you next week.